Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Gowdy, pediatric ear, nose, and throat surgeon and chief medical officer of Dr. Knows Best. So in this time of colds and runny noses that may be going on all year long, maybe during the winter, cough is a huge problem and symptom that a lot of families are worried about and they want to know what the best solutions are. So unfortunately, there's not a lot of great over-the-counter medicines that you can give your child that helps suppress their cough. And it's probably important to think about why do you have a cough? What is the purpose? So a cough uh, really is a expulsion of air and mucus. And so the way it works is you're kind of breathing in, your vocal cords are pulling together, and it's building up a lot of pressure and almost like popping a balloon. It shoots the air out, it shoots the mucus out, and it's supposed to remove all of the bacteria, the virus, from down deep in your lungs all the way up and out. So a cough is a normal reaction or response. It's the, ways, the way of the body of just cleaning things out, you know, particularly if it's dust or if it's a bacterial particle, a viral particle, you know, it could be a foreign body, um, you know, so certainly cough is a natural or normal phenomenon. However, if your child's sick and they're coughing all night long and they're not sleeping, you're not sleeping, parents get really worried. So one of the things that you can do to help your child be productive when they cough, right? So cough is good and normal because if it's not coughing all of that stuff out, it's kind of lingering in your lungs, uh, which can then lead to pneumonia and other types of medical problems. So to have your child have a productive cough and not really you know, be coughing, coughing, coughing all night, you wanna make sure that there's good humidity uh, in your child's room. And a lot of people don't understand that the optimal humidity is between 40% and 60%. If it's below 40, it's really dry, the airway is irritable, uh, and that's gonna make coughing happen more. Uh, but if it's above 60%, uh, it can be associated with mold, asthma, allergies, and so on. So you really want something in the, between that 40 to 60%. You know, and obviously if they're really sick, six, up towards 60% is better. Uh, if they're over the age of one, they've had their shots and so on. Uh, honey is another good cough suppressant or kind of makes it uh, a little bit less annoying or aggravating uh, for you and your family. Uh, and really good nasal hygiene, because if they can't breathe, and then they're through their nose and they're breathing through their mouth, their whole airway gets dry. It makes it really irritable because the function of the upper airway uh, is to clean the air, number one, and number two, humidify the air. So if your child is completely stopped up there, they're not going to humidify the air as well when it goes to their mouth. It's going to make their airways drier and it's going to make them cough more. So, uh, you know, coughing is normal. It's natural. You want to optimize the environment so that the uh, airway passages are working. Uh, and ultimately, while we all need a cough, we need to get that yucky stuff out. Uh, if you're worried that your child is coughing more than normal, then you should see your pediatrician and have that conversation. But uh, in general, viral uh, infections are uh, limited to seven to 10 days, and you know that coughing should get better over time. So make sure that they have good humidity, make sure that they're well hydrated. Uh, and you know, make sure you're treating all the other symptoms that you can to help them feel better. If you have any other questions, let us know from Dr. Knows Best. We're here to help you.